Whether you're on the streets trick-or-treating, driving around, or dishing out the candy on Halloween night, it pays to be prepared. Joining us with more on how to stay safe on Tuesday night is Ian Tate, Communications Director for the Ambulance Paramedics of BC. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. So it's a fun time of year, but it can also be a bit frightful out there. What are some safety tips once it gets dark out? Yeah, so kind of as one of our ongoing messages for public safety this time of year, and especially surrounding community health care, it's um, Halloween tips for us is all about lighting and being seen out there. Um, some of the best tips that I've seen is just trying to integrate lighting into your child's costume, whether that's um, part of the mask, a lightsaber, a flashlight, or even any type of uh, reflective gear is, is always a really good idea. The second yeah. thing that's always really good from a parent standpoint is to carry a, an empty backpack to help load the candy as you go out. So most, most parents know after about half an hour, the kids are dragging you know, a bag that's about as heavy as a bowling ball. So being able to unload uh, every half an hour with the parents is, is really helpful as well. Well, that is a good tip, yes. I see some parents with those carts out there and they're also hiding some yeah. other tricks and treats. So, you know. Also <laughs> a good tip, yeah. All right, um, so for parents, what also do they need to know to like, I guess, make sure their kids stay safe? Anything they should, conversations they should be having? Yeah, and, and, and like I said, at the end of the day, it, it, whether you're in a car or whether you're walking through children, is just to slow down and make sure you're seen. Um, another really good tip is, is for homeowners is to really make sure that you have a, a defined pathway for the kids to come towards your property. So uh, every year I see parents that, that don't move their cars enough and then the kids are running through their through the cars in the, in the driveway or they don't light the path properly. And with dollar stores and and areas like that you can really pick up cheap things just to help even for one night to to have a very clear and defined path that you make sure it's nice and clean for the kids okay if you are staying at home and giving out candy what are some good ways um you mentioned there how to, to make them accessible for people but like i guess how do you is, is there anything else uh if people are maybe concerned with that you set up a table like they used to i guess back in the good old days of covid yeah, so we, we used to see the um, the candy slides with the mm -hmm. tubes and stuff like that. I don't think that's really big anymore, but the table outside is always a good idea. I, I think the self-serve option is really handy and it's really easy so that you can also go out trick-or-treating with your kids. Um, you know, I, I don't think that there's as many safety concerns and health concerns nowadays, especially with trick-or-treating, but mm -hmm. I think at the end of the day is if you're not partaking in trick-or-treating, don't have have a pumpkin out and, and definitely don't have your lights on. Um, I've seen some of that as well. Like make sure your lights are off and, and don't kind of entice it at, at all. So, but if you are, make sure that it's well lit and that there's no dispute. Finally, uh, speaking of being well lit fireworks, they light up the sky a lot on Halloween. Any safety tips there? If people are going yeah, to there's them. there's always stuff that um, we hate to see people that get uh, burned or hurt by by fireworks. So I believe a lot of municipalities have actually outlawed them. A lot of the stuff that we're concerned about is not only just bringing pets inside, but if you are going to use that stuff, make sure it's in an open area and that there are some adults there to make sure that there is some type of safety procedure. So um, a lot of the stuff that I've seen in my career is when people light them in their hand and then they completely miscalculate the length of the fuse. So having it on the ground with one of those extended lighters is probably a safer, safer bet. Okay, that is a very good tip. All right, thank you so much, Ian, for joining us. That's Ian Tate uh, with some safety tips for safe Halloweening. You have a great Halloween. You as well.